Hey folks, JR with Channel 13 in Asia. Uh, tonight's video, just wanted to show another uh, shopping option for groceries here in the Angeles City. Um, it's in the Marquee Mall. It's called the Metro Supermarket, Metro Market, something like that. You'll see it in the video. Uh, anyways, uh, just another place to shop, uh, especially if you live here. Sometimes looking for certain products, um, you're just going to have to bounce from store to store and get to know which store has which products, especially like Western Western style products you're looking for. Um, so this Metro has a pretty good selection of uh, Australian, American, some stuff from Canada, some stuff from France, a uh, couple aisles. So that's an option for you. Even if you're just coming here for vacation for a couple weeks or so and uh, you want to get some snacks or something, it's not that far from Fields Ave area, Walking Street area, the hotels. Uh, one trike and you're at the Marquee Mall. And uh, so you can go there for lunch, lots of food options in there. Get you some lunch, go to the Metro supermarket and uh, pick up some snacks and groceries or whatever else you need. So that's tonight's video. Uh, hope you like it. Just trying to show some more things um, available here in Angeles City. So uh, hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. Hit the like button and then uh, make some comments. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Take care. So here's another option for your grocery shopping. Metro Supermarket. This is in the uh, Marty Mall. Show you around. When you come in these stores here, at least in Angeles City, um, <clears throat> a lot of your Western products you may be looking for. You just have to, uh, so here's some Ken's Steakhouse dressing, Heinz barbecue sauce. Um, you just have to go to a few stores uh, and see what they got because they all don't have the same thing for your uh, Western food. A bunch of the uh, Japanese curries, Thai, get your uh, Korean ramen, and this next one here is a uh, wide selections from Australia, America, and France. So, pastas, which believe it or not, you know, getting a decent pasta like Berea is a uh, it's not available everywhere. Get your Heinz ketchup. So here, here's the only place I found this so far. I see uh, Frank's Red Hot Wings, which I like to use. And what I like about this place too is these right here. These Mexican, you find these in Mexican grocery store in the US and uh, I was actually surprised that they had these here. So they got a bunch of the different flavors, including like the really darker one, like this one here, chili habanero. So, um, Famous Days barbecue sauce, if you're familiar with that, that's pretty good stuff. They have a lot of barbecue sauces here. Something I haven't seen also in many of the other stores. 
Uh, another good place to look is the uh, pure gold on the Freeport zone. That has a lot of American and Western products, mostly American. Um, and the bonus there is it's tax free. So, whereas you're going to pay tax here in downtown stores. But here, here's another one, Heinz 57. You don't see too much in the uh, normal grocery stores. They've got a bunch of uh, olive oils here at a decent price. Whereas some of the other stores like uh, Pure Gold downtown and it's a little more pricey. And this is another one they have a lot of seasonings. Now here, the prices on these, some of these are quite high. You see right here, like uh, rib rub seasoning, 335 pesos, you know, that's $6.70 for this little container. But if you gotta have it, and you can't find it in any place else. I would say on spices, spices is usually good for a long time. I would say send them in a Balak buying box. Have somebody in the States send them to you. If, if you're, obviously, if you're staying here. If you're just coming here on vacation, obviously. <laughs> Not, but uh, I'm talking more for people that live here. But you see here, um, stuff like refried beans not easy to find your bushes you got chili beans pinto love this brand for the mexican stuff i use the uh pickle jalapenos this is the uh, la Cost costeña it's the pinto beans but the uh at the snr i get the huge jars of pickled jalapenos So, let me uh, go into the next aisle, show you a few more products. So you got all your Tostitos here. Uh, you can find that stuff at s &R as well. These are uh, actually from Spain, these Torres Selecta. Potato chips, you got your Pringles. Uh, a lot of brownie baking options in here. Betty Crocker cookies. Um, so, I guess I could show you some prices. I haven't been showing prices. <laughs> uh, pancake mix, I like guess, 250 pesos, so five bucks. It's not terrible. Ghirardelli chocolate walnut brownie mix 269 so like 530 in that price range got some syrup here log cabin 231 so $4.60 that's not terrible uh, one thing you won't find that much of is salad dressing. Uh, actually, this is like one of the only places to find this. Blue cheese, wishbone. They've got uh, this brand here, American Garden. You'll see that a lot. But some of these wishbone and Newman's Own, uh, you won't see all the time. You see, this is like a Thousand Island, 140 pesos, so two dollars and eight cents. That's not bad at all. A Newman's own, six dollars and sixty cents for this, so a little bit pricey. You got your microwave popcorns. You got your planters. Planters are ridiculously expensive, right here. Nutrition small can 620 pesos so twelve dollars and forty cents for this for this guy that's uh that's craziness to me there's plenty of uh filipino brands of nuts that are that are good so that's some of your american options
just walk through and show some of the stuff, snacks and stuff. Container of these little snacks here, 64 pesos, local brand, dollar twenty-eight, nice and cheap. Sky Flakes, one of my favorites. It's got a, uh, it's fifty-four pesos, so a little over a dollar. Four, one, two, three, four. I think it's ten packs. Individually wrapped, so that's good. These here, Fida, ten pack. These are similar to Ritz. Nine in a pack for 53 pesos, so a little over a dollar. Excuse me. <clears throat> if you haven't seen my video on cookies, check out that video. I did a video on snacks, chips, and then uh, cookies. Showing the, the brands here and what they're similar to in the States. For you coffee drinkers, uh, lots of choices. I'm not a coffee drinker, so I can't tell you what tastes like what. You can have some uh, Chaco coffee mix, white. If you drink the local brands, it's uh, pretty cheap. Uh, do have for you guys that like oatmeal, do have the Quaker brands here. <clears throat> Not too bad price. There's some more kind of snack items. Dried fruit. Get you some uh, crispy fried squid, crispy pousset. There are some people in the uh, vegetable section. I was going to show that. There's not a lot of canned vegetables here, and I think that's for obvious reason that there's plenty of fresh vegetables. Uh, most of your canned vegetables here is corn and uh, yeah, you don't you don't see like green beans, green. You do see green peas, sorry, green peas. You'll see because they use that to make. Uh, one dish. There's all your cooking oils, cooking oil and stuff like that is, is, is cheap. Uh, especially if you use the local brands. We tend to use this, this Baguio brand oil and then uh, <clears throat> your soy sauces same thing if you use local it's a lot cheaper than this bottle of Kiku in here it's not too bad it's like 450 um, but if you get a big bottle of local stuff well, this is patisse flavor which is fish sauce flavor let me find a uh, regular yeah, here's a regular one dollar and that's 450 same size so Datu Puti is a good brand here in the Philippines uh, so is this Silver Swan it's another good brand of soy sauce 
I like to use. If you've never had uh, the Filipino vinegars, I highly recommend you try some. This stuff right here is actually absolutely delicious. Spiced tuba vinegar, so it's a coconut vinegar. And uh, you see all the peppers in there, and it actually is pretty dang spicy. And it's delicious, man. You take that, put it on some uh, chopped up tomatoes and uh, cucumbers, and that's some good stuff right there. But you see right here, vinegar. This is 40 pesos, so 80 cents this size local vinegar and as far as I'm concerned it's just as good if not better than your uh, Heinz vinegar or any any of those brands so definitely try some of the local stuff when you're here Some of the, uh, you got some of your brands from the U.S. here in the frozen section. Banquet, mac and cheese, like three bucks. That's not too bad. Sweet and sour chicken. Nathan's, Coney Island pretzel dogs. Sarah Lee. Marie Callender's, Stouffer's. That's pretty, that's pretty high price there, Stouffer's. That's eight bucks. Uh, if you're a lean cuisine person, uh, I wish you the best. That's $6.80 for that small little frozen. So, got TGI Fridays. So, just showing you what's available for Western. This is more your local brand stuff here hot dogs. More hot dogs. They definitely eat a lot of hot dogs here. Got your Nestle ice cream. That's uh, five dollars and thirty cents for a tub, which ain't terrible. But I guarantee the local stuff is cheaper. Yeah, here's the Magnolia. Three bucks for a tub. 150 pesos. <coughs> Let me get into another section of the store. Put you on pause here for a sec. So here's your uh, local instant ramen noodles. This is a dollar, 50.25 pesos. And uh, there's probably at least six packs in there. So nice and cheap. Yeah, you can see here, one, one pack itself is eight pesos. So like 16 cents. But uh, lots of flavors to choose from. My personal favorite is these here. The Lucky Me Instant Pants, Pants It Canton. They got the uh, extra hot chili. You got sweet and spicy. That's a real good one. And this is the regular kind of chili monsi flavor. 74 pesos. And yeah, six packs. So like a dollar forty. And you get six packs. I'll just show you some uh, typical cleaning supplies and stuff. Uh, <clears throat> one thing is expensive over here. Well, I think it's expensive everywhere. Bug spray. So, a can like this is six bucks the bag on, or five dollars and eighty cents. And you'll definitely need it in your house for the. We've had no roaches, but tiny ants. Ants like all the time no matter how much you clean ants will still try to come in so i haven't found any big bottles of uh spray for like around the outside of the house to try to keep them out 
haven't found that yet um, so definitely gonna have to have a couple cans if you're planning to live over here laundry detergent got tied I have no idea what these sizes are compared to the US and, and whatnot but four bucks for this for this guy here uh, this this kind of stuff SNR is your place to to buy it <coughs> uh, instead of these these other stores uh, SNR you can get the big tubs of it for a real good price oh yeah so my wife's uh, over here I'll show you a quick some uh, prices of toothpaste and then uh, we'll probably close out this video I don't know how long this has been going so local toothpaste $1.90 happy uh, let's get it like $2.28 for Colgate two tubes that's so uh, that's not bad here, here's something that'll run you some money if you use uh, Listerine. Six bucks for uh, mouthwash. So that's a little pricey. Demonstrating a product. All right, so I'm gonna end the video here. I think uh, it's running a bit long, but again, here's another option. Uh, I didn't even touch the meats or vegetables or anything like that. that's available in here, obviously. Um, and like I said, they have a decent selection of uh, imported goods in this store. And uh, you just have to bounce from store to store to try to find what you want. If you have like a special product you want. And the other thing option is to uh, order online, Lazada or Shopee. So I'm going to end the video here. Appreciate you guys tuning in. And... Uh, Appreciate our subscribers, obviously, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.